we'll start, even though I'm imagining there might be a couple more uh, people coming. There are so many, I just want to say, it seems like there are a lot of new members joining Angel Aid, which is so wonderful. And um, if you're watching this in the replay and you're new, welcome. And I just also want to invite everyone that's here to continue to you know, extend invitations to other rare mothers that you know. So we can, we can come together and, you know, it's, and hold each other and be held, right? Because it's both. And I can feel how we're um, here with a lot today. Mm -hmm. Life is a lot. Life is really a lot. And so that's why it's good to be on a team. And that is our theme for today is team play. How do we... Um, how do we support each other and hold each other? Because when you have your team and your relationship, and first of all, your team playing with yourself, obviously, and right now you're doing that by being here. And your team playing with us by being here. And then we team play with our partners. And one of the things, I'm gonna read from my book a little bit. Um, one of the things that really contributes to team play is kindness. You know, kindness goes, makes everything a little easier. And kindness takes all shapes and forms. And, and it also takes um, intentionality. Kindness, kindness is a muscle. It's like working out. It's like, oh, how kind can I be? Because when I'm depleted, when I'm grieving, when I'm just stretched to my edges, I have to actually make an effort to be kind, you know? And, um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think I, I will share this. I had a good friend visiting. Um, he took, he was here watching my daughter and the and our dog over the weekend. I was out of town. And he's an older black gentleman. And uh, he went into our local health food store. And he wasn't wearing his mask correctly, which I don't agree with, but he wasn't. And twice twice people in the store came up to him like Wah! really harsh really really harsh and there was and kindness was missing and so today i went into the health food store this morning and i just said wow you know i just i went to the man, to the management and i just said hey you know this really didn't sit well with me and it was i mean i understand because it's you know he's not following the rule and that's important to do. And at the same time, there's a way to communicate. And so kindness was lacking in the way that they communicated with him. And I also was holding, oh, this is also racial. I felt, cause this is where I live in Marin County is very white. And I thought if I were in there and I had my mask like this, I mean, they know me in there. I wonder, I wonder if someone would just come at me and I almost did it as an experiment. Like, huh, what would that be like? But I went up to the person, the checker, and she would, she was not open. She was like, we have been, they have five people out, you know, tons of COVID and they get a lot of exposure. And so I, I like backed down and just was like, okay, I really validated her. So, you know, it takes, it takes a lot of intentionality to be kind. And this is, and also I feel like this situation with COVID is real and it is, it is touching us in, our, um, in so many ways and it's touching us in our primal fear for good reason, especially as we are rare parents or people who have a, a rare disease. So when, when there's fear operating, it's harder to be kind because we're, we're, not in a, we're not regulated, right? We're just in a nervous system activation. So kindness. Kindness takes practice, especially when we're like, Ugh. and I came in and it's true. I wasn't totally chill because I was upset that my friend wasn't treated well twice. Guy chased him out of the store and got in up in his face. And I mean, yeah, so be kind, be kind in your relationship, be kind as you move through the world. And I feel like even more in this time that we're in of, you know, two 
years of a plague. <laughs> we really need to be kind to ourselves and in our families and as we move through the world. Real life creeps in. So I'll read a little bit and then we'll meditate. Be kind. Refraining from being critical gives you a chance to be kind and appreciate your partner, which creates connection and builds trust. As UCLA multi-championship coach John Wooden said, kindness makes for much better teamwork. So kindness makes for much better teamwork. So you can just get comfortable. Hi, Meg. Nice to see you. I saw you come in. Welcome. All right. Just breathing into your heart. And maybe breathing, if you can, in a way that is a long, deep, slow breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you turn toward your breath, let's begin this meditation by offering some kindness to ourselves, kindness and appreciation for being here, for being here together in this moment. Recognizing that it is an act of kindness to participate in this workshop, to carve this time out for yourself, even when you're not feeling 100%, even when your day might be a six out of 10. Allow your attention to sink in and down. You might even rest into the silent spaces into the pauses between my words. And what if you take a breath and exhale? Exhale into the space, being gentle and kind with yourself. Noticing what it feels like to practice kindness with yourself. Notice what it feels like in your body and your awareness. To practice kindness. Thank you. 
And if every breath is an offering. Just like you might make an offering an offering at your altar or in church or a temple. The way in India and in Thailand, they might scatter flowers at the feet of the deities. But if you gently scatter some soft rose petals at your own feet, at the doorway to your heart, Just notice how your heart responds. Perhaps it begins to soften. Just breathing really gently. And it doesn't matter if your mind wanders. Gently and with kindness, you can escort it back to this breath. No judgment. How kind can you be with yourself in this moment? Imagining what it might be like to offer this flavor of kindness to your partner, to your husband, to your child or children. How might that strengthen and build your team. a few more breaths and maybe placing your hands on your heart, just thanking yourself, thanking your heart, and being grateful for even a moment where the mind was quiet. And as you're ready, let's just take a few minutes to reflect on 
how kindness informs our relating, how kindness builds your team. How does kindness build your team? So really looking at like, how does kindness build my team? And then what am I doing that is, is more of a tear down, is more of a, a, it takes away rather than builds. So just taking a few minutes and we'll journal and then we'll come back and we'll share. Thank you.